Sasha the Great, a story by Grandpa Bobby. Hey kids, who wants another story? You do? Okay then, here it is. Remember Bonesy and Lammy? They were a couple of funny snippies. This here new adventure is about an animal. It's about a young dog. Not your average ordinary dog, no sorry Bob. I would never bore you with an ordinary dog. This dog was great. In fact, her name, she was a girl dog by the way, was Sasha. Yep, Sasha the Great. Sasha, she was not big. Sasha, she was not small. Sasha, she was just right. Her breed was a black mouthed cur. Yikes, ew, you say. She sounds scary. She must be ugly too. But she's not. No sir, she's cute as a bug and twice as fast. Here she is. What do you think? Good, right? Why, she could lick you all over in 10 seconds. Now, Sasha loved to eat. I mean, she really loved to eat. Put down a treat, gone. Put down her bowl of food, gone. Why, put down your hot dog, gone. Ice cream cone, gone. Gummies, gone. Chips, gone. Peanut butter sandwich, gone. Pizza, gone. Oreo cookie, gone. She was an eating machine. Here's where our story begins, kids. Picture in your little itty bitty heads. Sasha has disappeared. Oh no, not Sasha. She's not in the house. She's not in the yard. She's not in the van. And she's not on a walk with Henry. Where are you, Sasha? Sasha! Harf! What? Harf! I hear her. Do you? But where? Let's follow her bar. What the? Here she is. Oh, Sasha, you rascal, in the fridge? No way, in the fridge. How did you get yourself in there, girl? Harf! What? Harf! Oh, you snuck in when Danny opened the fridge to get his drink? Clever dog. Oh, you must be cold. Arf. Hot? You say? Arf. Oh, you're a hot dog. Very funny. Look in the fridge, kids. It's empty. Don't tell me you ate everything. Everything? Why, you're a piggy, not a doggy. No more ice cream. No more tofu. No more spinach. Well, who likes spinach? Yuck. You must be full now, right, Sasha? Oof. Is that a yes or a no? Oof. Hungry? You're not Sasha the Great. You're Sasha the Great Eater.